everybody, today's makeup look for the stage is Aurora from The Sleeping Beauty. This was very much requested from all of you, so I wanted to do it. As you can see, the colors, while it still has to be dark because it's stage makeup, the colors are very light, very muted, no big flashy colors because she is innocent. She's either 16 or 21, depending on the version. I use both drugstore and high-end makeup, and I will give you options. Uh, so here's how to do it. I have already applied my stage makeup base, which I have linked below. Um, so I'm going to start off with the Bon Voyage palette from The Balm, and I'm going to start with these two colors, B1 and C1, and mix them, and apply it all over my lid um, and up into the brow bone, just to kind of open up the whole eye. Using the color A1, which is a purpley taupe, I'm going to apply this all over the lid to give a little bit of shading and a little bit more color. Now I'm going to take C4, which is kind of a shimmery eggplant, and I'm going to apply this into the crease and then blend it out uh, to really create depth in the eye as well as some more color. You can be really, really gentle with this. It doesn't have to be a lot, just a little bit of shading. With the Perfect Eyes Eyeliner from Too Faced in black, I'm going to line my lids as I always do with my stage makeup, starting in the middle, working my way in, and then working out towards the outer corner to make a big wing. Taking the same eggplant color I used before, I'm going to brush this over the line I just created to really kind of blend it out and soften it. You don't really want any harsh lines for Aurora, again, because she's very young, uh, so I'm just going to go over the line to soften it and repeat this on the other eye, obviously. To really get a softer eye look, I'm going to take that same purpley taupe color I used at the beginning and go over the entire lid now, including the eyeliner. This again just really softens and makes this really, really delicate and pretty. Now I'm going to use the Endless Silky Eye Pen from Pixie Beauty in Black Cocoa and just kind of put a little bit in the crease and I'm going to now blend this out with a brush. Um, I might also use a little bit more of that eggplant color to really give this some depth. Next, I'm going to take the same black cocoa liner and just line my bottom lid very, very softly. Um, you don't want anything harsh, again, for Aurora. And then I'm going to take the same eggplant color and blend this out uh, again to kind of give some continuity to the eye. The last thing I'm going to do shading-wise is to take a brush and just go over the whole eye, blending it out, no shadow on the brush, just to kind of, again, soften anything that still might be harsh. Now I'm going to use the Eye Bright Liner from Pixie Beauty and line my waterline. This is really going to open up the eye and make you look very, very awake as well as very, very young and kind of doe-eye look. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara, as always. You can use any brand you like. Um, I'm using Yves Saint Laurent here. And then, of course, I'm going to apply my false lashes, as always, and the eyes are finished. For blush, I'm going to use the Sweetheart's Perfect Flush Blush from Too Faced and just kind of go over the contour I already have. Again, you don't want to go too in towards your cheeks here, um, just to kind of highlight your face. Then I'm going to use the Aqua Lip Liner from Makeup Forever and go over my lips just to give them a shape without being too dark or too harsh. Again, theme here with Aurora. And then finally, I'm going to finish off with the Color Sensational Lip Color by Maybelline in Pink Sand um, and just fill in the line. So as you can see, it's very easy, very subtle. Um, again, I didn't want to use any flashy colors because she is innocent. Um, also, you could do my Juliet look, which if you missed um, that, I will link it below and here. That's also an option for Aurora. I've won that before, uh, but this is just something that I came up with. Let me know if there are any other looks you want to see. Please leave them in the box below. I know some of you have already commented it already. Um, if you missed my Easy Bar workout, it's over there. You can click it to watch. Thank you guys so much again for always supporting and always watching. I'd love to have you subscribe here and on the other channel. Uh, love you so, so much, and I will see you next time.